Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth the living in return with having. It is technically, as you can tell from my yawning at four in the morning. My Lord of all things, great and small, wakes me when he needs to. It has sort of been a blessing because I can tell you marvelous stories of when I was traveling in a different state, literally by walking, and it was a blistering hot day, and I openly had fallen asleep on the lawn because I was just tired, and I couldn't go on. What he said to me was, I need you to get up, little buddy, because there's somebody standing there. And so I brought myself to, and I found a four-year-old little boy trying to hand me a little Wendy's gift card that had four dollars on it. My guess is it might have been his money, or my guess is his dad thought he was sort of funny, because a little boy might have noticed me on Father's Day and thought maybe an old man needed some food that day. The truth is, I did, and thanks be to a four-year-old man and a 30-year-old military guy in a marvelous charger, which whose color was, I think, black, I was able to eat that day. You see, the beauty of children is what they see. The power of adults is how they train them. And the challenge to be most parents today is, did you take home a recipe book, a formula book of how to raise a great thinking child? Or did you take home a child to abuse them in your misguided belief about how to handle them? Many children don't make it out of cribs today because parents think, I'll just let the baby sleep and I'll wander off with my little player boyfriend who impregnated me and we'll just go shopping and come back. But in the meanwhile, I'll tell people that we left them with grandma or grandpa, and maybe that's true. But what I can say to you is that is often not the case because most parents of young people are not thrilled to learn that their child has had sex earlier than they should. Now I can be immoral and I can be unsympathetic and I can be totally not compassionate, but what I see most of all is young people that want to help someone and they get talked out of it by some sort of parent, adult, special friend, or just passing by weekend pal. Most people hear the words of the Lord saying, feed him or help him. But most people don't help each day to keep someone going is true. But what I look at these people and I think about the most is where is the red, white, and blue within you? Because if that person can lose their job, then probably you can lose your job in the future. And maybe it's God's retaliation on you because you chose to listen to a human being over listening to the great father of all well-being. In life, we have moments of time to make a difference for someone. And I can reach out to pastors across America. I can reach out to preachers within my city. But what I learn the most is not who they are, but what they're teaching. And what they're teaching is evident and present within their people. 